Now that we've identified the multiplicities on the end of this connecting line, we need to specify any assumptions. So the multiplicity on the phone number side was specified in the scenario. It was one or more. And so that was easy to represent. And we need no assumption for that because it's completely explained in the scenario. But this one and only one is not completely explained. So we need to add an assumption. So at the bottom, we're going to write, just down here, we're going to create a text field. We're going to say, what is our assumption? And our assumption is that a phone number is related to exactly one. All right, and that was what we drew, is that it's going to be related to exactly one user. And then we can put our ex explanation about it. So why is this the case? Uh, <clears throat> phone numbers without use, it, we've got the zero end here, right? So we need to specify why we did one instead of zero. And that is because phone numbers uh, without users will not be added to the database. So phone numbers with no user will not be added to the, not be added to the database. And that specifies how we got the one end of it. And then how did we not get the many end? So we want to say that. Um, we want to say that each phone number record is connected to one user. And, and we also want to specify that phone numbers are not necessarily unique. And that allows for the two different users to have the same phone number. So there we've explained, we, we've identified what the assumption is. A phone number is related to exactly one user. And then we've done an explanation. How did we get that? So it's one and only one. We have to explain why it can't be zero and why it won't be many. So why, why did we pick that? And then this is what our assumption is. Now we want to label it so we can associate the assumption with the diagram. So I'm going to put a number one here, and this is our first one, and I'll go up and put a number one. I just double click up here, and it gives me a text one, and I'll put a number one here. And now they match. That one right there matches the assumption right there. And so we can clearly see what this assumption, which relationship this is assumption is associated with. So now we have the connecting line between user and phone number, and we've identified multiplicities on each end, and we've specified any assumptions that we've made.